and welcome to this new tutorial in Nomad Sculpt where we'll create this 3D love lettering. Let's get started. So let's add a box to the scene, adjust it a bit and then validate it at the top of the screen. Then switch to the front view. Then we'll subdivide the box four times and delete the lower resolution. Then we are going to select an alpha texture of your preference from your gallery. With the mask tool selected, we are going to check its settings. We make sure that the shell thickness is set to plus two. The stroke is set to lock plus radius. Here we see the alpha mask where the white parts are the ones being painted. The falloff is set to one. And in the filter mask settings, we tick front facing vertex only. Then we switch to the front view and draw the shape. Next, we are going to press Extract in the Mask view and we are going to delete the box from the scene. Then we are going to the Mirroring options to enable them by tapping the tick at the top and we reset the gizmo to the center of the object as well as reset the orientation of the object and switch the symmetry to be aligned to the Z axis. Next, we are going to remesh the object to the resolution of 150 to make the shape based on quad polygons to lower the resolution from 400k to about 40k. Notice the scene vertices count in the top left corner. Now we're getting to the fun part, smoothing the object. Select the smooth tool in the bar on the right Select the radius and intensity of the brush on the left and smooth the object all over. It's looking quite decent already actually. And what I love to do is to rotate the environment lights by swiping the screen with three fingers from left to right. And if you have some artifacts that are looking weird, then you are just gonna smooth them out a bit and that's it. Turn on the turntable animation, which you can find when tapping on the Nobot Sculpt logo in the top left corner and then ticking the turntable option. And you can see it turning around nicely, reflecting the environment. And yes, have fun looking at it and using it in projects or however you like and prefer or need it. And please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and ideally even hit the bell. And please let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. Many thanks for watching and see you in the next video.